Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize the control center on your iPhone or iPad. So let's get started. Now, this is on latest iOS 18 version. The previous version, what you had to do was go into your setting and you would see an option for the control center here and then you could customize it within here. However, on iOS 18, that has changed. So in order to customize now the control center is you need to pull down or pull up the control center itself and once you do that, you'll see a tiny little plus icon on the left top corner, and you're going to simply click on that. Once you click on that, it's going to go into the edit mode. Now, when it comes to edit mode, a couple things you can do here. You can remove, for example, a control that you don't want. For example, if I want to remove one, I can click on that uh, minus to remove. And if I want to add one, I can tap on add a control at the bottom here, and then pick a control I like to add. So, for example, if I wanted to add a low power mode option I can add it here and then I can click on it and just keep on adding specific ones that I want into this menu now another thing you can also do is move them around so if you like the control to be in a specific place just simply hold it and drag it to that spot so I can hold it and then I can drag it around however you see fit as you can see here we can move it around customize it to our own specific need or whatever makes sense for you maybe you use something specific to some you can group them as much as you like and add and remove controls so you can add another one as you can see here i can maybe remove one and all of that is possible just like that and once you're done you're going to simply tap anywhere out and it's going to get out of that ex exit out of that edit mode and then each time i pull it down it's going to have that same customized control center now, if you ever wanted to go ahead and reset it back to how it originally was, you can easily do that by going back into, again, the setting and then control center and then click on that reset and then reset control center. And as you can see here, the control center has been reset to how it is originally. Now with this, it will not delete any of your data. When you reset the control center, things like apps, photos, videos, apps, everything will still be on your phone. It's just resetting those icons back to the default. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and iPad. We'll see you guys next time.